The pause menu is an important part of every game, as it contains shortcuts to the main options. It's even more important in an endless runner, because it allows the player to stop the game for a short while without losing the progress they made. That's why in this video I'll show you how to create a pause menu for your game. Welcome to this new tutorial by the Gamesmas. First of all, create a new UI panel, then change the source image to none, and change the color to a semi-transparent black fill. Then rename it to be Pause Menu. After that, we create a child image of this panel. Change the source image to the menu background. Adjust its size and call it Background. Again, repeat the same steps with the title background. When done, we add our title text, set its color, then we set both of the horizontal and vertical overflow to overflow. Choose a suitable size, enter the title which will be pause menu in this case. Now drag and drop the desired font in the font field. Finally, move it to its position. After that, we create a new button and duplicate it three times. For the first one, change its name to Resume, the second to Main Menu, and the third to Restart. Drag the image of the Restart button to the Source Image field. Set native size to adjust its aspect ratio. Now change its size and reposition it. Again we repeat the same steps with the remaining buttons. And finally, we do all of it one more time with the close button. The reason I didn't make it from the beginning is that it does the same exact job as the resume button. So I think there's no need for it. But some people out there like it, so let's make it. And finally, as a child of the main canvas, we create the last button, which will be the pose button. And now, it's time for some coding. We start by creating a new C-sharp script and call it Pause Control. Once it opens in Visual Studio and as we'll be dealing with UI elements, we need to be using UnityEngine.UI. Now declare two game objects, one is a pause menu and the other one is a pause button. And as you won't need any of the start or the update functions, go ahead and delete them. And instead add a public void resume. another public void menu one more called pause game
and finally one for the restart. Now to be able to move between scenes, go ahead and add the scene management library. In the pause function, set the time dot time scale to zero. Then to show the pause menu, type pause menu dot set active and between two brackets true. As the game will be paused now and there will be no need for the pause button, set the pause button to false using the same line of code. Do it all again in the resume function, but invert everything. Set the time scale to 1. Set true to false and vice versa. For menu function, we'll be using only one line of code, and this will be scene manager dot load scene main menu. And then for the restart function, we begin by declaring an int called this scene. And in an awake function, set it to be equal to scene manager dot get active scene build index. And finally, in the restart function, type scene manager dot load scene this scene. Don't forget to reset the time scale back to one. Now we're done coding, so let's go back to Unity. Add the code to the canvas. Now drag the pause menu and the pause button and drop them in their corresponding fields. Drag the canvas to it and select the suitable function from the drop down menu. Thank you for watching, if you learned something new today, give this video a thumb up, share it between your friends, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See you in the next one.